I'm the calculus professor and today I'll be talking to you about sequences. In problem number 53, we'd like to use the squeeze theorem to show that the sequence, uh, the sequence cosine of n divided by n converges. All right, so what I'd really like to do is I'd like to find the limit as n goes to infinity of cosine of n divided by n. The problem here is that cosine of n, when n is some natural number, is quite nasty. Like cosine of 1, not a nice number. Cosine of 2, not a nice number. Uh, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of my knowledge about cosine to help me with this problem. And I want to use the squeeze theorem. And what the squeeze theorem does is says, can you find some other sequence that's smaller than this sequence? And can you find some other sequence that's bigger than this sequence that will help you narrow this down? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, okay, what do I know about cosine of n? Well, I know that cosine always lives between negative 1 and 1. That's kind of where cosine lives. So what I can say is that negative 1 divided by n that's always going to be less than or equal to cosine of n over n. Because negative 1 is always less than or equal to cosine of n, no matter what n is. All right? Similarly, this guy is al always going to be smaller than 1 over n. Because cosine of n, at the most, could be 1. It's probably smaller. Okay? So, we're, we've bound cosine n over n as a sequence between these two other sequences. Now that it's bound in this way, and this is true, by the way, for any value of n that I choose, starting at 1, then I can say, okay, then the limit of each of these maintains this inequality by the squeeze theorem. All right, so in other words, the limit as n goes to infinity of negative 1 over n is less than or equal to the limit as n goes to infinity of cosine of n over n, which is less than or equal to the limit as n goes to infinity of 1 over n. The limit as n goes to infinity of negative 1 over n, that's just 0. So I get that 0 is less than or equal to the limit as n goes to infinity of cosine of n over n. And that's less than or equal to, well, the limit as n goes to infinity of 1 over n, that is 0. So I really want to know what's the limit as n goes to infinity of cosine n over n, and I know it lives somewhere between 0 and 0. And so we're done, right? We know what this limit is. It must be zero. So I can write in that the limit as n goes to infinity of cosine n over n must be zero by the squeeze theorem. And we're done.